News at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. Thank you for joining us here for the ABC4 News at 5 o'clock this evening. A state of emergency now in effect. Utah Governor Spencer Cox making the announcement ahead of potential protests at the Utah State Capitol this weekend. So what does the state of emergency mean and what preparations are already underway? ABC4's Haley Hendricks joins us with those answers this evening. Utah Governor Spencer Cox says it's as a precaution to make sure that we are prepared for what whatever might come our way. That a state of emergency has been put into place lasting until Thursday. It comes as the state anticipates civil unrest and potential protest outside the Capitol. The FBI says they haven't heard of any specific threats around potentially armed protests. This executive order is kind of preempting um, what could possibly be civil unrest. Lieutenant Nick Street with the Utah Highway Patrol says they want to be prepared. Authority given to uh, the Highway Patrol and, and uh, Department of Public Safety in, in being able to uh, make certain calls when it comes to closures of the Capitol, utilize and ask for additional help from local partners and also federal partners as well. Resources like this, Street says, aren't new. We've seen other state of emergencies come at, at, during civil unrest, like the events of May 30th. But he says it wasn't implied that they were able to use it without the governor's permission. If things take a turn for the worst, the declaration allows law enforcement to act without giving Getting the governor's approval. We will utilize the um, things outlined in the order to declare an unlawful assembly if necessary or, or push back crowds off of the Capitol campus. And, uh, um, and, and we have those tools at our disposal to do that. And Salt Lake County officials say they're also taking appropriate measures, including enhanced security at their facilities. Now, for security purposes, officials won't tell us much about their plans, but they do say people have a right to free speech, but not unlawful activity. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. Hundreds of Utah National